Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For those that are new, welcome to the channel. Trucking with JL. Guys, uh, today we will be replacing the shocks. If you guys stick around with me, watching the channels, you will get to see, or we'll be able to do some of this work if you're mechanically inclined. Again, uh, if you cannot do it, you cannot manage the tools, or you don't have the tools, you better off paying somebody because at the end of the day, you don't want to make the problem worse or do some kind of preventative maintenance and <laughs> wind up taking it to the shop you know so but a lot of the stuff that i do they're not that bad they're pretty simple they're not that crazy as long as you got the tools and if you have done some work on your car uh, i mean this, this some of the stuff is not you know no rocket science you know it, it, it could be done I have some tools that you guys might not have. I have a compressor, uh, which is gonna help me with the, with the air. But with the line, the air line of the truck, you could use that also and use the air gun if you have it. If not, electric gun, which will come in handy. In the future, I'm gonna get that. Right now, I just got the, the air air gun. And I do have a hose that I could hook up to the, to the brake line of the truck. Uh, but I'll show you guys uh, that line some other time or maybe later on I'll show you because I have it on the side over there all right guys this is the line this is the truck line red line hose I hook it up to the air hose you know that's what I'm talking about if you have this you could use the the hose of the the air pressure of the truck right now I got the fitting for the for the tires to fill up the tires which is a good practice make sure your PSIs are good on the tire uh, you burn less fuel and the tires last longer So if you have a gun, I don't have the fitting right here right now But you get the fitting for there and you could use the air gun to do anything on the truck but Anyway, that's it guys back to the video work on the shocks Which you will need I have a air gun. So I'm gonna use this but you could use a ratchet and a wrench so this here right now let's make sure yeah, this is the right one. This is a one inch and one eighth. So same thing is gonna go for the wrench. This is a close wrench, same thing, one and one eighth. That's, this is all you're gonna need. And a ratchet, if you have a big ratchet, it's, it's, shocks are not that hard to do, they're pretty simple. Uh, I'm just gonna use the, the air gun, because I have it, uh, but it's not that bad. Guys, look, I got brand new tires. I think I mentioned in the other video. Uh, but these are all the new tires. You got all new tires now. And I had that situation with the one tire, which is right there. The tire is right there. I'm going to see if I can fix it. Um, yeah, that's, that's waste of money there. It's new tire, but they messed up. Yeah, let me just show you the tire here. It's brand new tire. I got water because it was raining yesterday, but you see, so right here, there's some uh, wires come exposed. They're coming out. So they didn't want to patch it because that's, they said that it would uh, eventually, it'll, it'll, which I think that's what happened. The, the wires would poke the, the patch and break it again because that patch didn't last uh, one day, day and a half. And it started leaking again. And this was TA. TA in, uh, in Florida. I was on Interstate 75. I, I forgot the, the town, but I tried to put it up in the screen. So between this, between the TA, I'll be honest, between the TA and the Goodyear, so in, I think that was uh, Fort Pierce in uh, Florida, down south. Either one, I don't know who did it, but I got screwed on this one. And I needed to do it because uh, they did have used tires over there, but I needed to do this because I, I had a load on me. So I, I needed to make sure that, uh, that I could continue my, you know, on the road. Because otherwise I would have had to pay. The load was, it was a, a short load, uh, 15 miles load, paying $300, 296. And if I was to tell Coach Schneider, to come pick up the load, it would have cost me $300. So 
uh yeah so i decided to get the tire anyway but yeah guys that's something you know I, i'm gonna see if i could get it fixed or you know or somebody knows that I had this problem before could let me know in the comment section but yeah that is the issue having the exposed wires like that let's get with this we'll do the the shocks we'll get all the screws the top screws out nuts actually i'm gonna do all the top and then i'll go curl on the bottom but at least you guys get the idea one of the reasons i'm changing it uh over here if you could see it's it's leaking right here you guys could see you see that west it kind of that shadow see it's not fully wet but it is, you know, it's, it's sweating, so it's, it's leaking. It's not completely busted, but it is leaking. And that's why I'm changing it. And the other tire, the old tire, it had a high, high and light, low spot, high and low spots. So that's another reason why, you know, uh, you would change the shocks because the shocks is bouncing and damage the tire. So I got brand new tires, so I want to make sure I change that, you know? Let me go to the other side. I'm just doing all the top ones right now. Pressure was running low, so it kicked on now. So that's that. That if you look, it's easy. You see, this, this bolt will come out, and you'll be able to replace the the shot. I got all four of them. I got Monroe's. I got them at the dealer. These are Monroe's Magnum, and the number is sixty-five four nine zero. nice when it's new everything looks nice right yeah. anyway i got four of these so, let me continue here there we go i dropped the nut so let me grab that set drop the uh the watch off is the bottom bolt, I want to say, yeah, the bottom bolt is shorter, so let's see. Yeah, top bolt is longer, so you can't go wrong, you know. You won't be able to put this one, uh, the bottom on the top, because it's not going to reach. Okay? It's not reach. So, shorter on the bottom, longer bolt on the top. That's it, he's out. This one was not leaking, but I'm changing all four. Put it here. This one's gonna go here. Let me turn this compressor off. You guys get the idea. And that's it for that. It's nice there. I'm just gonna tighten everything up. Now here won't matter, you could do the bottom or the top, don't matter. Let's start with the bottom first. Like that. That's what it takes, pretty quick. Oh, this one I'm gonna need two, two wrenches for the socket. Okay, oh, not, not the socket, I'm sorry, uh, the ratchet, because I don't have the space here because the, this gun is too big. I do have a smaller gun, but let me get the ratchet so you guys could get the idea. When you put this on, you can put a little bit of lube. See that this thing is all rusty? You can put a little bit of lube or spray it down. That goes the other one. Do the bottom first, like that. It's not that hard. Just push it down. Bada bing, bam, boom. One, two, three. Very easy. If you were to go to a shop, 
you know, they charge by hour. They probably charge 250, 300 dollars just to put shocks. Plus the, plus the price of the shocks. I forgot. I don't have the. I'll put the price of these shocks. Uh, I'll put it up in the screen. Uh, so you guys could see how much I pay for that. And this was from the dealer. You could probably get them online. It might be a little cheaper. Remember, everything at the dealers, they, they charge you more. All right, so. Same thing. Same way you took it out. Put it back on. I don't think there's a torque for this. But I'll see if I can find a torque. I know this is, I know this is good. And you can guys hey, you can give another plug like this. Let me do this guy. To make sure. That's good. Let me go to the bottom. That's good. Go to the other side. Use your foot. Hold on. Make sure it's in there. Use the foot. Oh, oh it's tight. <laughs> Not going nowhere. Let me go under here. This will be the only problem. For the front ones, you have to get under there. Uh, the back is easy. This you gotta get under. So you will go between the tires. It's not that bad, but you still gotta go down there. There's no other way. That one is out. That in there. Right, I'm gonna have the cameraman pass me the other shot because <laughs> I should have had it down here. So next, when you guys do this, make sure you have it with you. <laughs> so you don't have to, you know, if you're doing it by yourself, you don't have to get out. Put the bottom one first. Just gotta make sure it's lined up. Just be careful, be gentle. I'm used to this stuff, so, you know, you guys be, you know, be careful because you don't want to ruin the threads. Make sure, give it a little crank. Yeah, that's tight. Just double checking. Repeat the process on the other side. Yeah, that's tight. All right, guys, so I'm all done. Yeah, it's hot. It's a hot day. Woo! At least I could do this at the house. Even though I, if I gotta do something on the road, I do it. You know, I don't. I don't wait. I'm always. I'm always gonna try to save that money. I'll let you guys go. Uh, thanks for all of you guys that um, stood to the end, watching the channel, videos, putting those likes and those comments. Continue that. You know, make sure you put thumbs up, subscribe, all that nice stuff. You guys know. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless. Peace.